What's up guys, M. Jones back in the house again. And the other day I was posed a question on my page to my last update from 7748 Freddy. And he asked me a question, would you be willing to show your full collection of Blu-ray? And I thought about it for a second I said, well, when I first started doing my page, I remember I showed my current collection and that was about like two, three years ago. Um, so I definitely have some increases of movies. So I figured I would show uh, my collection today. So I hope you enjoy. Um, I'm going to go right from alphabetical order, start with my numbers, and then go alphabetical order. But I figure it'd be something fun to do. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm not going to talk about the movies I love. I mean, obviously, if I bought it, I'd probably love it. What I will do is I'm going to scan the movies that I'm showing you, and I'm going to kind of mention movies I wish I didn't buy. You know, things that I, I was like, oh, I heard it was great, but then I saw and I just, mm, I was like, nah. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not really, I wish I didn't buy it. Um, now, as you do know, there are some movies I just recently talked about that I purchased on my uh, uh, on my last Blu-ray update, which was actually today. So I'll show you them quick so you don't forget. You know, just went through those. Just went through those. But anyway, so let's get started. I think I have a lot to show. So here's my collection as is so far. So a lot of these movies I've bought, and I'd say starting probably like five, six years ago, I started buying all Blu-ray. You know, these are movies that I really just, I probably just really do love, but just some movies I wish I didn't buy. And I'm kind of looking through all these as I go, and I'm trying to see which ones I kind of wish, oh, I didn't buy. And I'll be honest with you, I wasn't big on Alien and Aliens. Um, I, I got it just because I felt like it was probably a classic, and I... I kind of went into a blind thing to be great. I didn't really care for it. You know, it was okay. I wasn't crazy about it. Um, anything that I scan by and I don't mention is because I actually do really like. Um, the one up here I didn't really care for is 12 Monkeys. I, I just, I couldn't get into that. I tried really hard. It's just, it wasn't something I was into. And 54, you know, with Mike Myers, Ryan Phillippe. I didn't like that. That movie was a piece of shit. I wasn't big on that. Um, coming down here. You know, I, all the American Pies, of course. The four best ones, I should say. The other ones are stupid, but those four are great. Um, I hated American Psycho. Uh, I don't know what it was. I don't like animal killings. There's a dog killing in that with, with Patrick Bateman or Christian Bale. I was like, come on, fucker. Like, you didn't have to do that. I wasn't big on that at all. Um, yeah, Aspen Extreme, really good movie. Check that out. I recommend Aspen Extreme. That's a good movie. Um... Okay, good so far. Yeah, more movies here. Love Bedazzle, good movie. Bill Juice, great movie. Um, ben Hur, classic. Got to see that one. Great movie. All right, let me see. Birdman, Academy Award winner this past year. Mm, kind of like all the Bournes, they were good. Boy Next Door, that was kind of questionable. I don't know if I'd like it, but it was okay. Pretty good. Braveheart. Broken Arrow. I love Broken Arrow. John Travolta. That's a classic movie. That's a really good movie. Oh, Bronson. This movie is a piece of shit. It was awful. With Tom Hardy, he played that crazy guy who lifts all the weights in the prison. It was a strange movie. I love Tom Hardy. That's why I bought it. But what a piece of shit movie. I did not like it at all. I... In fact, I hated it. Uh, Botter, that kind of sucked too. With Ty Burrell from Modern Family. Didn't like that one. Um, wishing it, but... The Captive, that was so stupid. That could have been really good. Um, the Captive. That could have been a great movie. Just turned out to be just a pile of shit. Um, didn't like it. Ryan Reynolds, I mean, the very beginning, the first like 20 minutes was awesome. And after that, it just got really bad. Okay, so that's my section there. I hope it's not too blurry. I'm sure it probably is a little too blurry. I'll go say hello. All right, so let's come down here. All right, Casper, Castaway. All right. Cool Hand Luke. County Monte Cristo, that's a great movie. Uh, Cyrus, I didn't really care for that. That wasn't too good. Could have been a lot better. Dick Tracy. Dirty Dancing at the very bottom under Dick Tracy. Derail, that's a great movie. Really good movie. Death Proof was awesome. Death 30 Funeral, both versions were good. Yep. Okay. 
All right, Die Hard, The Dilemma. That movie sucked. That was stupid. This movie's terrible. I don't know why I bought it. It's Vince Vaughn. What happened to you? That wasn't very good. Didn't like that whatsoever. Um, Doctor Strange Love. This one right here, I did not like. I, I don't know why. I, I think it was more of in the times. Enjoy it then. Like I, I just, I was, I was bored as shit on Doctor Strange Love. I was over it and pretty soon. Dumb and Dumber. Just talked about Dumb and Dumber two recently. Um, Edge of Darkness, really good movie. ECW unreleased. I wish I didn't get that because I have the WWE Network, so I can watch it anytime. I should not have bought that. Oh, uh, Ernest Goes to Camp, Ernest Scared Stupid, classic. European Vacation, classic. Uh, Expendables. I'm trying to see if there's any we should I get. No, these are all good. I like them all. Alright, we got Fight Club, The Fighter, Finding Nemo, classic. Fireproof, ugh. I wish I didn't get that. I, I mean... I have nothing against religion. I just the movie was so bullshit. Like I just didn't like it. Like it just wasn't very realistic. I wish I didn't buy Fireproof. Kirk Cameron and his ins insanity. I wish I didn't buy that one. Um, ooh, from Paris with Love. That could have been a little better. I probably wouldn't have bought that. If I would have sold the movie, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Um, Frozen, that's a really good movie, kind of unknown. And it's not the Frozen with that Ella or whatever, it's it's a horror movie. Um, really good movie. Uh, people are stranded on a ski lift overnight. And there's like wild animals, and like wolves and stuff attacking them. It was a good movie. Um, Getting Rid of the Greek, it was, it was okay. Probably wouldn't have bought it if I would have. I don't know why I bought it. I didn't care for it. Um, well, these are all good ones here. I like them all for sure. All good. All right. I think we're getting close to halfway soon. Uh, Grown Ups, I probably wouldn't have bought that either. I, I think the comedy of Adam Sandler since like 2000 has been just stupid. Um, I, I know he does everything to keep his kids wanting to watch the movies, but it's like, dude, I want to watch your movies too. Like, Don't make them so corny. Um, let's see if there's any I wish I didn't buy. I wish I didn't buy. Hijacking. That was a rare movie. That was really weird. That kind of was the more grisly, ver more grisly and gory version of uh, Captain Phillips. I thought that was a really good movie. Um, I would check that out. Very, very, uh, very tough to watch, but good. Um, let me see. Oh no, these are all good. Indian Summer, really good movie from the 90s. Really like that for sure. All right, going down this way. Glorious Bastards is an amazing movie. Um, let's see. Italian Job. You know what? I like Italian Job, but I get a little bored of that movie. The movie's a little boring sometimes, but I, I do like it. I shouldn't complain, but it's a little boring. Um, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Movie's stupid, but it's kind of funny. Oh, Johnny Handsome. Awful. Awful. Morgan Freeman's in it, and Mickey Rourke, and it's it's a piece of shit movie. I think I got it for free if I bought another movie at, at like Circuit City. It was awful. Johnny Monomic, classic Keanu Reeves. I like that movie. Um, just before I go with Sean William Scott right here, that was a pretty good movie. Pretty detailed and deep movie. Um, you know, that was that was pretty good. I liked it. Uh, Killer Joe, I thought was pretty good. I probably wouldn't have bought it if I saw it before I bought it. Uh, legendary piece of shit movie. You know, I'm a wrestling coach, but it's about wrestling and John Cena, and it just it failed so many times. And John Cena, it's like, come on, dude, you, you, don't be an actor. It's embarrassing. Um, Lincoln Lawyer, like that one. Uh, Love Actually, great movie. Love and Other Drugs, great movie. What don't I like? I am looking. I am looking. I am looking. Uh, hmm. So far, so good here, Mr. Colin. Uh, My Fair Lady. I think I got that free. I don't think I've even seen it. So who knows on that one? Uh, Negotiator. I love that movie back in the late 90s. That was a good flick. 
Uh, never been kissed. Not crazy about that one. I'm okay I bought it, but I probably would have. I don't know. I, I might not ever even watch it again. Nowhere Boy. You know, Nowhere Boy, that's a great movie about John Lennon. You know, Aaron Johnson plays him. He's he's awesome. He was in Kick-Ass. Some others. Uh, the Odd Couple. I, I guess that was funny in that at that time but I, I just I still couldn't laugh I I didn't really understand a lot of the humor I just didn't really care for it. I love Water Mouth Allen Jack Lemon but just didn't really care for that one to be honest with you oh Page Master classic Parkland that could have been a great movie and it just failed it just didn't I think character development really lacked in Parkland and that was about JFK shooting in Austin Texas I, and it, it could have been much better than it was. I, I, I thought it really failed, but, you know, it is what it is. Peach Dragon, classic. Perks of Being a Wallflower. I was kind of negative about seeing that movie first, and I saw it, and I loved it, so I bought it. So, good movie. All right, Pineapple Express. Starting with Pineapple Express. Uh, looking again, Point Break, absolute classic. They're remaking it around Christmas this year. I'm a little worried, but we'll see what happens. Um... Princess Bride, that's a classic. Project X, hilarious. Um, Red Dawn, that's the older Red Dawn with Patrick Swayze. That was much better than the newer one. I like that one. You know, I see The Purge Anarchy. That's the sequel one. I got to get the original Purge. I don't have it, I guess. I really like that one, too. I have two Revenge of the Nerds. I don't know how the hell that happened. Who knows? Um, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Classic Robin Hood. I love it all. Love it. Um, very bottom, Santa Claus 3. Can't see it. Santa Claus 2 and Santa Claus 1, obviously. That's the Tim Allen Santa Claus. Uh, <coughs> really like this one so far. Um, I didn't really care for The Runaways, which is right there. That was about the band The Runaways with like Lita Ford and Joan Jett. And I, I thought, again, it was a little rushed. Like They just wanted to get it out because they were so excited to talk about it. I thought they kind of failed a little bit there. Um, I thought it could have been a little better. I remember watching. I almost fell asleep. All right. Next column. Um, and this is the Santa Claus of Dudley Moore. This is a forgotten Santa Claus. You know, it, it's a good movie, but it's a little weird. It's a little creepy. Um, but it's good. It, it, it's. I think it's okay for people to watch. I, bet, I think kids would probably be like, you know, Dad, what the hell did you just put on for me to watch? Um, but <coughs> I like it. It's classic. Um... All the screams, of course. Love the screams. Scary movies are hysterical. Um, the Sessions. That was an interesting movie. That was about the guy. I think John Hawks played um, a, a character. And I forget who it was, but he couldn't like walk. He couldn't do anything. Like he was, he was basically alive because of a machine, and he, and he couldn't like do anything sexually. And and he meets a sex therapist of Helen Hunt, and they, you know, try to fool around and do stuff sexually. It, it was a strange movie, but. Wasn't bad. Probably wouldn't have bought it though. I kind of wish I just saw it once and that was it. Kind of like Still Alice. Great movie, but I just don't want to buy it because I don't want to watch it because it's so depressing. Um, the Showgirls. How did that get in there? Hmm. Shrek, the whole collection, classic. Oh, I have two Silence of the Lambs. Hmm. Great. Didn't know that. No, I do. Silent Night. Really like that. That's a spooky horror Christmas movie. Really like that movie. Um, this is Social Network right here. It's kind of hard to read it. Under that is Sons of Anarchy Season 1. Um, Social Network, kind of wish I didn't buy because I'm not a Jesse Eisenberg fan. I just don't. He's just too awkward all the time. I just, I, I can't get into that character too much. All right, third to the last column here. Space Jam. Everyone loves Space Jam. Spectacular Now. Young Miles Teller. Love that movie. Spring Breakers. Wish you didn't buy that. That was a piece of shit movie. This movie's stupid. There was a lot of a lot of hot chicks in it, but this movie was really stupid. Saint Elmo's Fire, another one, kind of an eighties movie. It was a mid eighties movie that had a lot of eighties jokes. I didn't really understand, so I, I couldn't really keep up with that. I wish you didn't buy that one. Um, Stitches. That's a really good movie, a clown movie, kind of like a, another movie like it. It's kind of really creepy. Straw Dogs. That's an amazing movie. I definitely check that out. It's with I think James Marsden. Really good movie. Um, I hope you can see these. Uh, I had a lot of movies I just love so far here. 
Yeah, love everyone in that column. Okay, second to last column. The next column is really small too. Um, really love Ali so far. Truman Show I thought could have been a little better, but I still liked it. Good enough to buy. Under the Tuscan Sun, what the hell was I thinking? So boring. Should not have bought that. Mm, oh, The Voices. Could be the worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life, besides Mad Max. Uh, Ryan Reynolds played in this, The Voices. It was a piece of shit. Awful movie. The Vow could have been a little better, too. Wasn't big on that one. Um, what's your number? What's your number? It's hysterical with Anna Faris. That's a really funny movie. White Christmas classic. Um, okay, and then Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Willow, Willy Wonka, and The Chocolate Factory. You gotta love that. Win Win. Winter's Bone. Winter's Bone was a good movie, but it was so damn depressing. Kind of like Precious. Like It's like, I don't want to see just not all this destitute. It, was just, it got really old. But it was a good movie. Oh, this was, I think that was, uh, what was her name? Jennifer Lawrence. She was awesome in that. Uh, all these are good here. I like all these. All the X-Men's. Sue Lander. So funny. Yeah. So that's it. So that marks my, uh, I guess, my Blu-ray collection. My full Blu-ray collection update as of August 14th. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if uh, if it, it was hard to see some of the movies, let me know. I can redo it. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed my collection. And uh, it keeps getting bigger and bigger. And uh, that's what she said. And I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, T you take it easy, NK, bye.